ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our MC for this morning's event, Aisha Tyler. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. My name is Aisha Tyler, and welcome. I am so excited to be here for this very special CES launch of Dell. Now, you guys might know me um, from, uh, I don't know, shows like Criminal Minds, or Whose Line Is It Anyway, or Archer. Uh, okay, so only Archer. You guys only know me from Archer. That's, that's great. I don't mind. I love that show. Um, but uh, you might also know me as a gamer. I'm not just here as a host of the show. I'm a fan of technology, not just for what it does for me in my personal life, not just how it makes my life more fun, but how it makes me more powerful as an artist. I'm not just an actor, I'm also a writer, a producer, and now a film director. And literally every part of my creative life is touched in some way and improved in some way, way by technology. And as technology advances, so will the power of all of us to do great things with just the click of a mouse at home probably in pants, maybe not in pants, I don't judge. That's for you to decide. Uh, I'm really, really thrilled to be here with you today. We have a lot of really exciting things to show you. We're gonna get started right now. Today's event is packed with new product and design innovations, product demonstrations, some fantastic guest appearances, not just me, although I, I'm fantastic. Uh, it's an action-packed hour and I don't wanna waste any time, so let me welcome to the stage the president of Dell Client Solutions, Sam Bird. Yeah, how are you doing? Good, good. Happy hey, to see you. Great to see you. Hey, I remember friends too. So. Okay, good. Thank you. How cool to have you with us here today. I'm super excited. And uh, like you said, we've got lots to share. We got new products, new experiences, and hey, you're going to be really excited. We've got some amazing gaming news coming up. Um, so I'm really, excited. I'm really excited about the gaming stuff. Yeah, I can't wait. Hey, I, I think like you talked about, Aisha, when we look at what we're doing, it's pretty amazing, the things we're doing with technology. Um, we're seeing how it can empower people around the world and give them the capability to do really amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, hey, so as we think about this when, and our company and where we've been, um, we have really been on a great roll for these past 34 years. You think about the company that Michael started uh, down in a dorm room 34 years ago um, in Austin, Texas. We were a little PC company. We knew, as Michael thought about it then, that um, PC and technology were gonna change the world like you talked about. Um, it's currently transforming the world. It's changing stuff every single day. And that little company down in Austin, Texas, we've become the largest PC company in revenue and we've become one of the lar I appreciate that, one of the <laughs> largest technology companies in the world, which gives us the capability to do amazing things in leading the industry and shaping where the world's going. And I was just gonna say, I think in that spirit, as a filmmaker, I could not be the person I am today without the power of technology. The fact that this company started the way that it did in a dorm room and has grown in the way that it is, I think, is a model for how technology can take an idea, the spark of something creative, and turn it into something extraordinary. Yeah, it, it's awesome when you think about that journey. Mm -hmm. And you know, we have seen that, and it's been part of um, our focus from the first day of going, how do we advance human progress, capability people have to do things through purposeful innovation and technology? And I'll tell you, as I talk to you, Aisha, I talk to our customers, I'm inspired by the things they're doing every day with our products. Mm -hmm. And hey, you fly here to get here? I did, I did fly here. Okay, yeah. hey, me too. So hey, at Boeing, mm -hmm. Um, engineers there are using our technology. That was technology. the plane. It was just me on it, guys. <laughs> There's a lot of windows. You have a good view? I looked out of all of them. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so we're helping engineers at Boeing build smarter airplanes. So you think about how we can get today to where we're going faster, safer, more affordably than ever before. It's a, it's a step function change if you think about what's happened over time. Brought you and I together, mm -hmm. brought all of us together here today, connecting the world like it's never been connected before, a huge change. Mm -hmm. I, I also think that we don't see how, uh, how blind we are to technology. It's improving our lives every day in ways that we don't even understand. Yep. And I think that's a perfect example. I travel all the time. Yep. I just want my plane to go from point A to point B safely. And 
I don't need to see how technology it, works. I just need to know that it's working. It does it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how about fast cars? You like fast I, cars? I have a fast car. <laughs> okay. I have like big seat cars with lots of capacity <laughs> in them, but I like fast cars. Hey, so at McLaren, we're giving McLaren, with our technology, the ability to design, test, simulate driving experiences using Alienware systems that they bring right back into the innovation loop on the race cars they're putting on the track every day. So it's pretty awesome. You think about them taking that same process and putting that into the process of improving automotive safety and even improving human health. We're doing some amazing things. That's incredible. Hey, in India, in only two years, Dell Aram, a program designed to uh, enhance learning through technology, has helped a million students become leaders of tomorrow in the nation that will soon have the youngest population in the world by training over 160,000 uh, teachers and parents in how to unleash the power of the PC. Huge change. And I think that's also important because, look, we all have technology influencing and improving every aspect of our lives, but it's access to technology that really changes the world. I think to bring bright minds, to give them access to the products and the tools that are going to make them change the world, it's that first step, giving them the, the opportunity to use the technology. And the more people that can touch technology, the more people can change the world. Yeah, hey, and, and speaking of that, that first step, Aisha, mm -hmm. If you look at where our PCs are and the, the things that uh, are pretty amazing that entrepreneurs everywhere at startups, growing businesses are doing with our PCs and our technology is pretty amazing. I'd love to share an example. Aero Farms um, is changing the way we feed the planet by making urban farming possible. So with our technology, they're able to use 95% less water to grow food. They've increased yields 390 times, 390 times. And hey, the, uh, the products they're delivering also taste pretty awesome. I actually thought that 390X was a typo. <laughs> that's yep. that 400%. I mean, that's 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 not that's not 400%. That's like 4,000%. I'm not a scientist, guys. Even though I have this sweatshirt on, okay? I love science, but I'm not a scientist. That's it's a lot. It's a big number. It's, it's a, a big, big, big number. number. Hey, and you know, while all that is great, and you talked about productivity and potential, we also love helping people have fun, like you, like me, like my kids. So, um, think about our business, Alienware. When it opened its doors in 1996, it's forever changed the space of gaming. We've been committed to gaming since then. It's pretty popular now, but when we started, we knew gaming wasn't going to be a fab. We've been a huge contributor to the global popularity of esports, and we've made it possible for people of all skill levels, like myself, to try to play with my kids. I never, I never win that battle, but it's brought everyone into the game. I think um, for a lot of us, and I know for me, my first introduction to computers was, was video games. When I was a kid, the first computer I owned was a tiny little LCD Donkey Kong. It was what made me fall in love with the world of technology, and I think it's so important that uh, we see that the world of technology is not just about improving our yep. lives at work, but also improving our lives at play. Yeah, it's, the, it's everything that you do. Mm -hmm. and, Hey, well, it's, it's pretty amazing to build PCs that people love. It really gets me, it gets our team excited. We've shipped more than 700 million systems to customers, so you think about that global impact, it's huge. We've also been focused in operating in a sustainable way uh, far before it became viewed as the right thing to go and do. So sitting here with you today, I'm proud to share that we've hit our long-standing goal of recycling more than 2 billion, 2 billion, it's a lot of zeros, pounds of material by 2020. So we've pulled 2 billion pounds of waste that's been eliminated from our earth, and we did that two years ahead of schedule. Pretty good. Do you like that's that? fantastic. It's really important. Hey, and that's not everything. We've been a pioneer in sustainability, and you'll see that it's built into all the products that you'll see later today. We started using post-consumer content in our Optiplex desktops in 2008. Since then, we've used 73 million pounds of recycled content in our products. We were the first using oceans-bound plastics and other sustainable materials in our packaging. We were the first with closed-loop recycling process for plastics in our industry. We use 100% recycled carbon fiber on our XPS and Latitude system. So I encourage everyone to go get one of those systems, participate in this process. Thank you. <laughs> um, we were the first to use gold recycled from e-waste on our new motherboards. And any of you here last, any people here last year? Yep. Woo, give it up. Hey, you remember we partnered with activist entrepreneur Nikki Reed in an upcycled gold jewelry collection. So some going into our systems, some being used for other great uses. 
And then most recently, we've been doing some cool stuff with uh, a company called Shocker Innovations, who's taking smog, turning that into ink that we're putting on our Optiplex desktop uh, packaging. So pretty impressive list of stuff that we've been doing. And I think a, a reason to choose this company, I mean, the future, the future of computing, the future of, of technology is going to be finding a way to close that loop on the end because these resources are limited and we need them. We need them to move forward. So we have to find a way to conserve them, to reuse them, and to be smarter about the way that we build our product. Yep. Hey, and, and you can see, I hope you see from this, we absolutely believe in the PC. We believe, believe in delivering great PCs and technology to our customers. We believe from the start in our company in advancing human progress with technology. And that's built into the DNA that we have in our company. And I'll tell you, it's in the heart of the innovation that you're gonna see here from the team and that we're unleashing across our latest lineup of products at CES 2019. So Aisha, I'm gonna let you get on with our announcements and hey, I'll see you in a little bit. Yes, Thanks a lot. thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. We have so much stuff to show you guys. I'm super excited to, uh, to bring this to you and to everybody uh, live streaming at home. So please welcome to the stage, president of the client product group, Jay Parker. Hi. How are you? I'm good, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, so Jay, you've been leading the charge on the way that Dell is changing the way that we experience technology. And uh, I want you to tell me about that. Okay, it and sounds also exciting when you say it that yeah, way. Yeah, right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, what we're doing really is we're trying to use innovation to really fundamentally change the way that users experience the technology. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, you know, that's really what's key as, we, as we're determining how we can make our products better. You know, the world's changed. Uh, the way that people use technology has changed a lot. If you think about entertainment, you know, in, in your area, did you know more people watch shows on PCs than TVs? I did know that. It, it makes me want to call them PC shows, but no, that hadn't caught on yet. <laughs> no, I don't think it ever will. I, maybe not, pitch. but I, I'll, keep, <laughs> I'll keep going for it. So you know, so you got a different way that people are consuming entertainment content at work. We're, we're going around like crazy. We're multitasking. We got multiple devices. We have deadlines. We're on the go all the time. And then gaming, you guys were talking about gaming. You know, That's really gone from being a fairly niche type of audience to being the hottest part of our industry. There's almost two and a half billion gamers uh, in the world. And that means that you know, we have expectations that we have to meet. And the way that we really look at innovation is we want to create an experience that's so exceptional and so intuitive that it kind of fades into the background. We don't want the focus to be on the product, but rather your enjoyment of the entertainment or maybe your work, mm -hmm. you know, if you enjoy that. <laughs> and so, so that's, that's the way we look at it. Now, innovation is really, that's the lifeblood of our industry and certainly what we do here at Dell. And that means that, you know, we have to create magic, but it's not magic. Um, it's, it's work to innovate, and it doesn't happen in one fell swoop. There's no beginning, there's no end. It's just kind of an iterative process. A lot of times we're building on the successes of products and offerings that we've had, and sometimes we're learning from things that weren't successes. Uh, and so that's, that's where our focus is and how we create these new offerings. Now, you know, one of our big successes is the XPS line. Um, it has been the leading brand, the leading products over the course of you know, the last several years, and last CES was no exception. For those of you who were here, we cleaned up in terms of the awards. Uh, the XPS 15 2-in-1 we announced, that was a new product. The XPS 13, uh, and you know, lots of complimentary things said about those products versus the competition, which I think you can probably see a few of those up here. Especially the XPS 13 really captured the hearts and minds of a lot of people out there, both experts and customers, mm -hmm. and they loved it. It was they liked the performance of it. That was unique uh, in that class of product. Uh, they loved the battery life. They loved the design. We had new color options. It was very exciting. By far the best in class product. Um, but. There was a problem. There was a little issue, guys. Yeah. Um, there was one thing, uh, and I'll say that it was, 
<laughs> what, what we've affectionately come to know is nose cam, okay? And I, I am not a selfie taker. <laughs> okay. But if I were to take a selfie, I would not want it to look like that. that <laughs> that's not a flattering angle. So I'd like to introduce to you the new XPS 13 that is now perfected. So let me show it oh, to yeah. you now. One's right in the other way. It's beautiful. What do you it's, think? Well, first of all, it's gorgeous. It's incredibly, incredibly light. Uh, I think my phone weighs about the same as this computer. Probably, yeah. And, uh, and uh, God, it's gorgeous. Uh, and the camera's up here, guys. Yay, hey. where it belongs. Flattery angles for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Flattery angles for your mom when she hounds you during That's the holidays. Right. Yeah, it's a gorgeous piece of thank uh, technology. You. Yeah, okay. So, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> So, you know, since we, we talked about the camera, now it's not that we didn't know that the camera should be up at top, but the fact is what we prioritized in the last generation of the XPS 13 is we wanted these infinity edge bezels because it really allows you to feel part of the content, you know, be immersed in it, so to speak. And, and we, we wanted to keep that, and at the time, a camera didn't exist that would fit up here. Right. But we've developed one. And so we developed uh, our smallest webcam ever. It's two and a quarter millimeters. There's no sacrifice to the quality of it. It has all of the latest image processing technology that gives you clear, smooth, crisp video. It doesn't matter if it's dim light or not. And so we're excited about that. That solves nose cam. Okay, but there's more, I'm as you excited. might, as you might imagine. <laughs> now, for some of you who might be uh, experienced and a little bit more perceptive in the audience, uh, this is a new color. Uh, we call it Frost. We're adding this to our color palette portfolio. That'll be on the exterior of the device, and then the same, uh, the same uh, woven glass material on the inside, arctic white, but we've actually brightened it and made it more white, if you can imagine that, just to give it the pop and, and that you'd expect and the, and the style that you'd want. This matters. You know, people, people love their technology to say something about them, and offering these kind of options uh, is important, and this one will be real popular. Now, we're going to keep the rose gold and the Arctic white. We're going to keep the platinum silver and the carbon fiber black, uh, but, uh, but that's an addition to the portfolio. Uh, last thing I'll say about it, I'd, I'd be remiss if I only talked about what it looked like and on the outside, and I didn't talk about what's on the inside. Part of what made this product uh, the best in class was the performance mm -hmm. associated with it. Um, and that's going to be no exception. That legacy will continue. We'll have the latest uh, eighth generation Intel four core processors. Uh, we will have uh, uh, extensive battery life. Dell Power Manager will allow you to uh, toggle back and forth between your needs of performance versus battery life and in between. And it's enabled by very innovative thermal technology that we introduced last year uh, through our partnership with Gore. And that means that this computer is going to run cooler than ever before for it all you It can run guys. as fast as you want, and it will stay cool. That's great. Um, and that's an important invisible innovation, I'll call it. Especially, I mean, if you use your laptop for what most of us use it for, which is working when you travel, working on the run. So your computer's on your lap, on a, you know, on the plane, in a chair. That's right. You want it to run cool. This is about the weight of a tablet. It is incredibly light. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a really elegant piece of uh, technology. It's gorgeous. Thank you. I st I'm going to put it in my pocket. I am. I'm, okay. getting, I'm leaving here with this computer. Okay. Well, we'll make a deal. <laughs> I need. I have an overcoat. I'm going to be okay. like. <laughs> <laughs> but now I, I will admit something. I'm biased. Mm -hmm. um, I have responsibility for this, so I have to say really good things. Now I mean what I say, but I'd like you to uh, to take a look from someone who doesn't have to say nice things. It's one of our customers and partners. His name is Colby Brown. He's a photographer, and he uses XPS products to capture and create and tell his stories of his travels around the world. And uh, I'd like to show a video that uh, talks about his experience with XPS. As a photographer and visual storyteller, I've spent the last 12 years traveling to some of the most incredible corners of this planet in search of capturing stories that are unique, that have impact. The gear I use to tell these stories need to be powerful, portable, and versatile. This is why I always use Dell's XPS line of laptops. With their premium build quality, gorgeous color accurate 4K touch sensitive displays, and high end processors, they handle anything I can throw at them with ease. This past year, Dell launched the new XPS 13, XPS 15 2 in 1 with built in pen stylus support, and the incredibly powerful 6 core i9 XPS 15 that helps me handle all of my 4 and 8K video rendering needs. 
From the mountains of Patagonia to the streets of Cuba, the deserts of Africa to the Canadian subarctic, I have taken these laptops with me all over the globe. But with CES 2019 here, I wish I could be there today to see the newly perfected XPS 13, but I'm currently in Antarctica working on a couple projects. Regardless, I am super excited to see the new webcam, increased performance, and beautiful new frost color. I can't wait to see what other innovative surprises Dell introduces this year so that I can use them on my next adventures. Follow along on Instagram at Colby Brown Photography. So, I mean, I think it's what's, what's exciting about what Colby was saying is that, you know, five years ago, he wouldn't have been able to have that much power, versatility, control over his work in the field. It would have been the kind of work you would have to wait until you got home. That's right. You know, to put your, your work, your photos on a bigger PC to do that kind of processing work. And now you've got a computer where you can really do extraordinary work right on the spot as you're shooting. And you can see some of that beautiful work there. And That's right. It's uh, by packing so much power into a tiny portable device, you change the way that creators create. And you also change the way that we consume content That's after right. it's been created. And it looks good. It looks incredible. <laughs> it looks incredible. Just holding on to it. <laughs> um, you were talking about the fact that people are watching television shows, watching films on their PCs more than ever before. And, you know, I think that I think we want something that's going to deliver cinematic experience in a tiny package. Yeah, that's right. I mean, because because of people's habits that have changed and the way they consume entertainment, and that's that's only going to happen more over time. That that trend is not going to subside. Then we need to really incorporate that into not only our physical designs but how we create the viewership experience because. While, while customers or users have moved to these types of devices, they don't want to sacrifice the experience. Mm -hmm. uh, they want it to feel like their big screen TV. They want it to feel like the movie theater without the hassle of going. So it's incumbent upon us to meet those expectations. Absolutely. I mean, like you said, people are watching and consuming content more on devices than ever before. And probably that's where this entire industry is going. It will be a device-based industry soon. That's right. But I want, if I watch Black Panther on my laptop, I want it to feel like I'm in Wakanda. Because I really I really want to move to Wakanda, you guys. I don't know about <laughs> it you. It looks really cool. I'm dying to go to Wakanda. <laughs> um, and I think we, we want that kind of a cinematic experience on our devices. Yeah. And that, that's what Dell Cinema is about. You know, many of you might remember that we launched Dell Cinema last year. Uh, um, and it has been, it has taken off like gangbusters, and now we have more to add to it. We've expanded it, we've added features and capabilities to it, and our goal is to keep our products with Dell Cinema being absolutely the best PC-based entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, and so rather than me sharing more of that with you, we have someone here that has really been the champion and the pioneer, the internal driver of Dell Cinema, and that's Jerry Tunnel, our head of CSG Client Solutions Market. I'm going to invite her out now. Jerry? Tell them all about it. Oh, I'm going to give this computer oh, back. Yeah, reluctantly, <laughs> very reluctantly. I saw you trying to hide it. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. That's good. Hi, good to be here. Yeah. Well, listen, you guys were obviously talking about content and the power of great content. you got to have technology behind it. Um, so it could really come to life in new ways that you never thought possible, whether you know it's a romantic comedy or your favorite movie mm -hmm. or you know, a late night thriller. That's, mm -hmm. that's my personal mm -hmm. favorite. Mm -hmm. um, so at Dell, like Jay said, we're driving even more or innovation just to make it all work. Visuals that are brighter, darks that are darker, and sound that really immerses you so you can get lost when you're in the, your pajamas, like you said, or on the flight, you know, with Boeing. So last year we announced Dell Cinema. These were three cutting edge software experiences, Cinema Color, Cinema Sound, and Cinema Stream. All that work together in concert for the best viewing experience and the response has been phenomenal. The majority of people, like Jay said, work on, want to watch content on PCs today. Actually, in a recent study, 40% preferred watching content on a PC versus 30% on a traditional TV. But just like in everything, we wanted to push the boundaries. So we've enhanced the experience, and we're kicking off with some new features. So let's take a look at the new Dell Cinema.
pretty beautiful. I mean, you can tell from that video that this is a, an extraordinary new dental cinema experience. And for me, because I, I do consume a lot of content on my laptop, we I, consume a lot of your content. Well, too. thank you. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of content. I'm, I, I, I get around. Um, uh, I think you know a big part of what people want is for it to look the way that it would look if they were watching it on their television or in a movie theater. Yeah. You just want to feel, it, it's got to feel like natural, right? Mm -hmm. That you're watching something that's easy, it comes to life, you know, it, it, it can be anywhere. Mm -hmm. So. Great, well let's take a look and deep dive a little bit into some of the new updates. So the first I'll start with is Cinema Color. Um, what we're launching here is new Dell's new color profiles. These are four new profiles, movie, evening, animation, and sports, and it optimizes the color and contrast for each of those modes. It's available on our XPS and our Inspiron, and you can check out obviously the compares here or also in the sugar cane. The second one is we're super excited to announce Dolby Vision on Dell laptops, starting with our new XPS laptops. What you'll see behind me is Dolby Vision really unlocks the HDR's true potential. It's got the best color, brightness, contrast, this vivid detail to really make things lifelike. Highlights are actually 40% brighter, and blacks are 10 times darker with this technology. It brings a new aspect of depth in darker images, and it supports resolutions in 4K and 8K. These innovations really allow you to you know, view your content the way the creators intended them to do. And I know you're a creator, so yeah. it's really important, right, if you don't have right, the right blacks, the right colors, it's, it's not true to what you wanted to make. And I think when you, when you when, as a consumer, because not all, this, this stuff is kind of blind to consumers, and speaking as a filmmaker, you, know, you spend months of your life creating an experience, not just the storyline, not just the acting, but the entire immersive experience of a film, and you really want to, for that hour and a half, or you know, if you're certain directors, three hours, uh, you know, <laughs> hey, I, I have to pee, buddy. Um, you you really want to create an experience that captivates and that really takes someone into another space. And if those visuals and if that sound isn't true to the, the thing you've created, you've really lost an opportunity, but the viewers really lost an opportunity. So I think it's really important for us as creators to know that we've spent a bunch of time creating something extraordinary for you and that you're going to experience it in the way that we intend you to, to experience it. And for all of us that are struggling with the, and I'm not, for the transition from traditional modes to PC, knowing that you guys are developing the technology that's going to maintain that quality, maintain that integrity, is really, really important to us. It's great. So another one, we talked about color. Now let's talk a little bit about sound. So we've moved up Dell Sound again, so Cinema Sound again, with three new enhancements. So the first one is Intelligent Bass Enhancement. This actually enriches the low-end sound at any volume. The next one, speaking of modes, is our two-in-one sound optimization. This automatically equalizes the sound when the mode changes. So if you're in laptop, tablet, tent, stand mode, they all have noticeably different kind of volume and dialogue clarity, so it all makes it just come, to be come together much more seamless. So let's say you're watching Archer. Right, Which on are. the plane, yeah. in tent mode, it comes out perfect for that mode. Um, the final one is Waves NX Audio. So we're, it's actually bringing 3D audio to headphones. It uses the webcam to track head movement. So when you turn left, the sound moves with you. When you turn right, obviously the sound moves with you there. So it's a lot of fun to go uh, take a look at as well. I think sound advancements in PC and, and, and device watching is gonna be a big thing because I think you know we're getting there with picture but we're still wanting to have that same kind of sound experience that we get on other, on other platforms and I'm really excited about that personally. Cool, so you know, obviously, if you're immersed, you're sitting on the couch, you're immersed in that thing, but you also don't, you don't wanna miss out on that important call, right, or anything else. So what we've actually done with Dell Mobile Connect that we launched last year is we're gonna talk a little bit about what we've done there so you don't have that fear of missing out when you're watching that great content. So what we've done actually with Dell Mobile Connect, since we've launched it, we've had over 30 million calls and texts have been made with this technology where you can get messages on your PC from your phone. 
We recently also launched a new level of integration that allows you to get notifications from WhatsApp, from Instagram, and from others. So many press outlets, including laptops, a laptop magazine, have actually said Dell Mobile Connect is better integrated than the iPhone with the Mac. Zing! I'm just saying. <laughs> So today we're announcing the ability to actually transfer files from your PC to your mobile advice. So you can easily throw that you know, last minute notes that you took from CES or the family photo that you wanted to move over. This is a Dell first innovation. Nobody is doing this on the PC today. And even if you're in VR, you can get you can get notifications while you're in virtual reality, which is just amazing, <laughs> right? So you, you never have to miss anything. So let's say you're, you're immersed in that content and you gotta go pick up the kids. Well, the message comes into VR. You can actually look at your phone in there. It's amazing. That's pretty rad. Yeah, and then you can set your phone on fire and continue playing that game. <laughs> <laughs> very, very cool. Well, great, so I'd love for you guys to all see it. We're actually showing the technology at the sugar cane, so you guys should all come, um, and you can actually demo it there. Oh, awesome, that it, it looks extraordinary. I, I just love that your phone just pops up when you're about to like slay a dragon. You're like, <laughs> I can't talk now, saving universe. Um, well, this is really cool. So much exciting stuff, and I'm I'm excited to try some of it out, and I hope you guys are too. Uh, Jay, Jay, is Jay lurking back there? Jay, you wanna come on back out here? And chat with us for a little while longer. After you, Thank you so much. stash that computer in a place I can't access <laughs> Thanks, it. Jerry. Thank you so much, Jerry. Thank you. Um, so, oh, hey. That was your walk off meeting, yeah. Jerry. <laughs> so, obviously, your PC innovation team has been incredibly busy this year. Yes. Yeah. I, I, we got to keep ourselves in the lead. Yeah. And we talked about content, uh, and we also talked about the nexus between content and work. So, now let's talk about work. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. Well, we have okay. to. Yeah, right. let's do it. <laughs> So um, millennials are obviously driving change. The way that they work, the way that they integrate their personal and their workspace are, yeah. is ch driving change. But there's even more coming from, from that space and from Dell. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and really, I would say the, the next or new generation of the workforce, it's really challenging our creativity and capability as designers of commercial technology to ensure that we're meeting the needs not only of the IT leader, but also of the user, because they're increasingly more important in the equation. And you know, I remember just a few years ago, I started work, my first work. Just a and few I, years yeah, ago. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and so uh, I still remember the IT guy, he handed me my computer, and I'm pretty sure that he picked the ugliest, biggest thing that he could possibly find and hand it to me. Now, I didn't know any better. I was new. At that time, it was pretty unique to have a you know, a laptop computer as part of your job. So I was excited. Mm -hmm. But things have changed. Uh, you know, now, uh, it, really, the technology is part of your style. It's part of your identity as a, as a younger worker. Um, a lot of times, you know, it's kind of a ultimatum for the employee on how they think their employer feels about them. <laughs> and so as leaders in the commercial PC space uh, for the last 25 years with Latitude, we recognize that. We have to develop products that help not hinder the on-the-go professional. And it was really with that idea, as we started to develop the next Latitude flagship product, that we needed to accomplish that objective. And that means it's got to be the fastest. That means it has to be, uh, has the longest battery life. It's got to get you up and running the quickest. It's got to look good. It's got to be small. And that's hard. Um, you know, traditionally, that's a difficult recipe to get right. You know, and I would almost say that it's been mission impossible, um, but, uh, but we've done it. And okay. so, uh, so I'd like to introduce the Latitude 7400 2-in-1, our newest flagship product, and we'll do that in a video real quick.
do you guys think? So that, that, that looks pretty good, I hope. We'll go into a little bit of details. I will say, you know, as I mentioned, it's, it's hard. Uh, there's a lot of innovation that has to go into a product like that. And it takes a lot of you know, years of R&D. It takes a lot of creative and brilliant people. And I'd like to bring one of those people on stage with me now, uh, someone who is largely responsible uh, for driving the development of this Latitude 7400 2-in-1, Ed Ward, our head of engineering for the client product group. Hey, Ed. Hey, how you doing? Good. All right. So now, when we conceived of this product, it was a slam dunk, right? You had it in the bag the whole time. Oh, piece of cake, piece yep. of cake. Actually, not so much. Team worked really hard on this. Like you said, nearly impossible, but we had a great team and they pulled it off. Yeah, I mean, and, uh, and, and I can tell. Now, they might have picked up on this in the video if you were paying attention, uh, but one thing that we've heard from customers over time, and we've observed ourselves, is that with everybody on the go and in meetings and in airports and all that, we're logging in, we're logging off. It takes up a lot of time, it's kind of annoying. We have a new way to do that. Can you tell us about that? Absolutely, Jay. Well, you know, in the past, your PC had to get ready. It took a while to come up to get ready for you. And, you know, I believe, I tell my team a lot of times that we believe in staying ready. So the Latitude, Latitude 7400 2-in-1, it stays ready for you. We've got a proximity sensor in it using Intel context sensing technology that as you approach the PC, it recognizes you. It can use Windows Hello to authenticate and log in. So when you get to the PC, it's ready to go. Okay, awesome. And I, I think people are going to love that. It saves you know, seconds or microseconds every, you know, every hour, and that'll be a great feature. And I'm glad that we're the first to do it, by the way. Now, it probably won't matter if the device is out of battery or if you're so frustrated with it because you're watching the circle churn while you try to download files or whatnot. How have we solved that problem? No, not at all. That wouldn't be good, Jay. So what we've done is we've engineered the Latitude 7400 2-in-1 to have up to 24 hours of runtime. That way you can get through your workday without any worries. In addition, when that does run out, you can use Dell's Express Charge and get up to 80% of your battery capacity back in one hour. But not only does it charge fast, it connects fast as well. We all know about Wi-Fi, but it's not always available. So we've engineered our antenna and radio solution to give you Wi-Fi speeds over cellular with the availability and the security of cellular. Yeah, so that, that's a pretty impressive package. Now, with IT leaders, you know, one of the top topics that everyone is talking about, it's number one on their priority list, or number 1A is security. Uh, we have long, Dell has long been a leader in security in the commercial space. Can you talk a little bit about you know, why we think that's important and what we've done, not only in this product, but across our commercial portfolio to ensure we stay in the lead? Absolutely. So, you know, your IP, your identity, and your data is, is really, really important. And as Jay said, we've secured that over the years in our commercial portfolio. So what we especially have done here in all of our products is the use of our Dell data security solutions and also our secure BIOS. We secure your PC so that when you log in securely, it can log in securely. You can use multi-factor authentication if that's what you want to do. But not only do we protect the PC, we protect the data that's on the PC. We don't only protect it when it's on the PC. We protect it if it goes up to the cloud, wherever it's going, through our Dell Data Guardian products. So End-to-end, -end, holistic security is what it's all about so that you can be productive and your IT managers can yep. sleep well at night. Yeah, okay, good. So let, let, I'm gonna recap for a second. So uh, express sign-in. Check. 24-hour uh, battery life. Check. Charge in an hour. Check. Leading security. But here was the next challenge. Uh, you had to do that all in a really small and light package. And we have a 14-inch display and a 13-inch footprint, which sounds like a weird engineering riddle to me. So like, how, what does that even mean? How did you do that? Well, the team doing a great job. I like things small as well as large. And uh, so what the team's done is we've really, by having all of our engineers together under one roof, we've been able to take cues from the XPS 13 with all of our consumer and our commercial engineers together getting the best ideas. We went over every aspect of this product, every nook and cranny, to make it as small and as light as possible, and we did all of that at 2.99 pounds. Excellent. The smallest 14-inch 2-in-1 device on the market. Absolutely. Which is incredible, and a commercial device especially. So, last thing. Um, obviously, we're two stylish guys. I think the audience could agree on that. Um, but we needed a stylish PC. That's right. 
Um, that was, that's part of the deal. That matters to people now, uh, more than it did 10, five, 10 years ago. Can you tell us a little bit about the design? It's stunning, Jay. It's carved out of a solid billet of aluminum. It's a beautiful device. Like I said, we left no stone unturned to just make the most beautiful two-in-one on the market. All right, I agree. And when you guys get a chance to see this in sugarcane or where, ha where have you, uh, I think you'll agree. Um, it is uh, the best product that I believe has ever gone on the market in the commercial PC space. I think you guys should be really proud of yourselves for how you pulled this off, uh, Mission Impossible. So thanks. Thanks a lot, Jeff. All right. Appreciate it. Um, Jay, that was super exciting, uh, but I think you know why I'm here. I'm Let me here guess. For, I think you know why I'm here. You don't want to talk, you want to talk about work somewhere? I'm, I'm done talking about okay, work, Jay. Right. I want to talk about play. Okay, fair enough. I guess the, the last thing that you know, we haven't touched on, we've gone through the consumer entertainment, we've gone through the work piece, and now we're going to talk about gaming. Yeah. Um, and you know, uh, that has really taken off uh, in our industry. We've been the leader of it. Uh, between our Dell gaming systems and our Alienware brand, uh, we are constantly looking for the best performance, the best, most iconic design, the most customization, and generally keeping our leadership there. And there's no better person to talk about it than the gentleman who leads our XPS, Alienware, and Dell gaming business. And has, was the co-founder of Alienware, and that's Frank Azor. Hey, I'm going to hey bring man. Frank out here. Yeah. Hello, Frank. How are you doing? I'm very good. I'm very good. Ready I'm, to have some fun? I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see what you brought me in that bag. I brought a, br a bag of tricks. <laughs> awesome. Um, we've got a bunch of surprises for you guys. Um, this is going to be the gaming show now, so get ready to have some fun. Yeah. We've got an incredible amount of news, so stay with us. We're going to go through it as quickly as we can. We know what you guys want. You want to see all the new products, all the new exciting stuff, so um, we're going to keep it as short as we possibly can, and we have some surprises at the end. I promise it'll be worth sticking around for. Yes. So why don't we spend about 45 minutes talking about the size of the gaming market? <laughs> okay, everyone want, wants to do that. <laughs> now, first of all, um, gaming's huge, right? $116 billion industry. It's amazing how much it's grown since when we were little young gamers there playing console and PC in the early days. Grew about 10% year over year. It's been a huge success. Well, a few years ago, um, we got a lot of demand from folks that wanted to see some more affordable gaming products. We'd obviously had Alienware around for a long time, incredible products, but we don't hold back on Alienware. They are the best of the best, and sometimes it can be a little bit expensive. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we created the Dell Gaming portfolio of products, and I'm really excited because we've got some two, two brand new products that we're going to introduce first to you here at the show. I don't bite. Come on. I'm coming on. Come over. Coming over. It's okay. All right. Um, so the first one um, I'm very happy to introduce to you to is the brand new Dell Gaming G7. That's the bottom of it. That's the bottom of it. <laughs> Correct. Nice big G7 logo. <laughs> Don't worry, it's all planned. It'll rotate <laughs> I'm excited. This way, I'm excited. <laughs> then I'm going to open yeah. it. Something should come up on the screen. Yep, yeah. there it is. Oh, that's dope. So what you'll notice uh, about the new G7 is it's pretty thin. Yeah, it's really thin. It's nice and thin. It's pretty beautiful. Um, we've also improved the graphics on these new G7 notebooks. So you'll be able to get RTX 2070 and 2080 graphics in this thin form factor. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Can I hold it? No. OK. Um, <laughs> <laughs> The other thing you'll notice is the borders are really narrow. Um, so that's been something that folks have wanted for a while. That made the overall notebook smaller. So if you think about making the notebook smaller because we removed the, uh, the borders and improving the performance, mm -hmm. it's a pretty, pretty challenging feat to be able to pull off, but we did it. A, we also have 144 hertz screens on here, eighth generation processors. Um, and you're going to get the RGB illuminated keyboard. And something else I'll touch on a little bit later is the Alienware Command Center software that we introduced last year here at CES, that's now going to ship on all G5 and G7 notebooks. So you have one piece of software across your gaming system. So real simple, you don't have to learn different interfaces or anything. And all your Alienware peripherals and everything will just plug in and work immediately. And that means that you're, you're going to have access to this software across the, the entire family and at an entry level. You're not going to have to go to the top of the line to Correct. get that command Correct. center, which I think Correct. is great for people who are buying these computers, either if you're a new gamer or if you're buying a, a PC for your kid to game on. And he's going to immediately, you know, like drop it or like spill a soda on it. You know what I mean? You're like, <laughs> 
I'm so, going to murder you. <laughs> especially when you spend this much money on them. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. So th this is the new uh, G7. We have a G5 version as well. Um, but let's move on to the next Beautiful one. We're just going to touch on these briefly because we've got some really big news that we want to move forward to. So the next product I want to introduce you to is some of you saw that we launched the M15 Alienware notebook earlier this year. We've updated that now to um, RTX 2070 and 2080 graphics. But we just introduced this week the brand new M17 notebook. Mm -hmm. So this is our 17 inch thin and light, the thinnest and the lightest weight 17 inch notebook we have ever made up to now. It weighs less than six pounds. Mm. It got some pretty incredible battery life. It's a pretty sexy baby. Thank you. Um, it's also really, really powerful. Ooh. So eighth generation processors on here from Intel and NVIDIA RTX graphics all the way up to the 2080 mm -hmm. as well. Of course, you get the awesome Alienware design and styling it's and really crazy alien effects colors and everything. Yeah. So this is, this is a way to make the guy next to you on the plane feel jealous. And here's something you'll love. I hear you're a pretty fierce Halo player. I am a Halo player. So I was actually in Halo Reach, so you know, suck it, haters. <laughs> You can actually see, find a T-shirt. Uh, Aisha wearing a T-shirt out there that yes, says, "I can kick your ass on I Halo." I can kick your ass on Halo. Yeah, yeah. that's I'm not put just that to the a test. boast. That's a threat. Uh, this <laughs> so is this will actually run Halo using Xbox Play anywhere. So when you travel, I know you travel yeah. pretty much as much as I do. Um, in the old days, you used to remember the, to take a console with oh, you. Oh God! Big ass I mean, like a 30-pound briefcase. And that's the problem if you're a console gamer is. You know, you want you want to keep playing, and you have to go on a business trip, and you can't play. So being able to take your game with you would be yeah, really you can, thrilling. You can just uh, connect your Xbox controllers to this and play oh. a ton of different Xbox titles on this uh, on this system. Oh. So, yeah. Those are my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is great. I'll give it back. I know you're, okay. I know you're in the habit of stealing some Dude, stuff. Dude, I'm here, gonna so. just I'm gonna have like a wheelbarrow when I leave. <laughs> So really that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, really, really cool. But you All want right. to see something amazing? I do want to see something amazing. All right, we got All right, something Do I need to protect my eyes? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't stand back. Okay. Um, but as many of you know, Alienware has been pretty disruptive and pretty iconic in the industry when it comes to the Alienware industrial design um, that we've come out with. About over 15 years ago, I think it was, we came out with the initial Predator design. Uh, back then, all computers were beige and really, really boring. And we said to ourselves, we, we got to add some color and some life into this, this stuff and really give gaming PCs their, their own identity to stand out from non-gaming PCs. And the design we introduced then really set the direction for not just Alienware, but really the whole gaming industry. But today we find ourselves in a similar situation where almost all gaming products look the same. They've almost all taken influence from those Alienware early designs, and they're pretty much all black, and they have some red accent lighting, and it's a bit of a boring environment. So we're going to change that. And for the first time in a long time, and something that's only happened a handful of times in the history of Alienware, we're going to introduce a brand new design to you. First, though, we're going to show you a video. So check this out. Ominous enough, Ooh. exciting. Ooh. So, <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, um, say hello to the bold new look of Alienware. We call it Legend. It's uh, been an incredible amount of work to get to this point, and we were very, very lucky. They gave me permission to take one of our senior design engineers, who they never let us take out of the lab. You know, they <laughs> they're very protective of these folks. Um, but through some begging and pleading, they uh, they are letting me bring one of them out here to walk you through the process and how we arrived at this new look that is going to define Alienware's products uh, moving forward. So please join me in welcoming Josh Probst out, senior designer. Thanks for the introduction. Hi, Aisha. Hi, well, nice um, to see you. You too. Nice hoodie, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> you should see my socks, actually. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Guys, today is uh, a very exciting day for our design team. 
Alienware has a history of being a design innovator in the gaming space. Iconic industrial design is one of our core brand tenants. It's a key differentiator for us, and it's sort of what I've been focused on for the last 10 or 11 years. So uh, tell us exactly what's exciting about this specific day. Well, so as Frank mentioned, what's exciting about today is this will mark the fourth time, only the fourth time in our company's history, that we've cleaned the slate, that we're looking at a blank sheet of paper in terms of design. Nice. Yeah. So when we started that process, we looked at some of the challenges that our brand was facing. And one stuck out right away. And I think you had kind of alluded to it as well. So we, as we looked across our industry, we saw a sea of sameness. There's almost a unified um, design aesthetic in PC gaming. Who thought PC gaming would get boring in how it looked, right? <laughs> yeah. So we knew we had to shake things up this time, right? We knew we needed to pull our brand out of this crowd, move it somewhere completely different. We needed to find a new visual center. Mm -hmm. And to do that, we needed to update our design process. We needed to go a little bit further. So, so you guys understand, Dell is, or Alienware is Dell's most uh, iconic and most visually expressive thematic brand. Uh, it's got deep roots in sci-fi culture and lore. So before we put pen to paper, we, you know, designers, we always want to get going and make some cool stuff, right? Uh, before we put pen to paper, we spent six to seven months just gathering, absorbing, and really becoming one with uh, design or with sci-fi cultural references. So you were just watching sci-fi movies. I was yeah. going to say, yeah, just watch the months, months of movies. And getting okay. getting paid for doing it. That's we want to make sure awesome. that we can, can we do that next time. I'm applying for a job at Dell. How do I get that job? <laughs> uh, well, we were doing this because we needed to sort of align on a thematic trajectory to take the brand. You know, not just within our design team, but with our executive team. We needed sort of a North Star, right? Uh, and where we landed with Legend is really a return to form for us. Not just in surface strategy, although it is less geometric, it's less rigid, it's a bit more pure and sculpted than our, our outgoing design language. But this is like nothing else we've ever seen, yet it's immediately identifiable as Alienware. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So here's what you can expect from Legend products. You can expect a focus on performance. Uh, we are using uh, the most. You can say badass. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. I get away with it all well, the time. So I'm, I'm particularly proud of the way we're able to uh, seamlessly integrate iconic design while we're answering the call for high performance that our systems always demand. Right. The second thing that you can expect is um, intelligent construction and architecture. We've got the most advanced materials on these products uh, to make the most out of every millimeter. And finally, color options. Uh, we've bifurcated our color offering to help our customer really personalize their machine. Um, they can choose from two colors. Uh, lunar light, which is a very high contrast, visually high impact colorway. This is our sort of take on what we had discovered in that theme round of uh, future minimal aesthetic. Or dark side of the moon, this is a much more mysterious, it's sort of a, a darker tonal approach, it's more muted. What's interesting about these two colors is our alien effects lighting takes on a completely different personality between them. So it's really giving the customer more ways to personalize. And I think personalization is key for gamers. I think you spend so much time in that world, opening yeah. that device, you know, staring at it all day. Yeah. The more you can specialize, the more it feels like home to you. I think the, the better the gaming experience yeah, is going to be. Yeah, it's like it's your weapon, yeah, right? It, absolutely. it wants to feel personal. So no two gamers are the same. We all have our own unique identity. So I think it's only fitting that we've expanded our design portfolio in this way to you know, really let this become, you know, make, make the, the, the system be as unique and as powerful as the player behind yeah, it. That's yeah. awesome. So Legend is an awesome step in Alienware's evolution. It's going to be a giant leap in PC gaming. Awesome. Very exciting. Great really job. Really All right. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> Thank you so much. I needed that as wallpaper in my apartment. <laughs> so we've got a new design, yep. right? Does that mean that we're going to get a new product? No. 
We're okay, done. great. All right. Thanks, Thank you very much, everyone, for coming. <laughs> it's been a great show. Use your imagination. So do you guys want to see a product with this new idea on it? Yeah. All right, all right. Yes. Let's get out of the way right. and show them uh, something special. Yeah. Check this out. They said you can't game hard on a laptop. They said you can't upgrade a laptop. And they said you can't get enough power from a laptop. So we built a laptop that does all of that and more. The revolutionary new Alienware Area 51M is now the world's most powerful and upgradable gaming laptop. Featuring an upgradable and overclockable desktop Intel Core processor and graphics by NVIDIA. Up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. Advanced Alienware Cryotech cooling. Toby eye tracking. And narrow bezel display. Welcome to a new era. I, I can't help but grin and smile when I see that video. It's, it's just, that's dope. It's, badass. it's super dope. So I, I know there's a lot you're seeing on screen there, but in case you missed it, fully upgradable laptop. Not just a CPU, but you can upgrade the graphics card as well. It's been a long time since anyone's been able to offer that to you. Mm -hmm. The world's most powerful gaming laptop as well. You can also upgrade the memory. 2.5 gigabit per second ethernet is being featured here. 144 hertz displays, narrow borders. Of course, the new Alienware Legend industrial design. And what's really just an engineering marvel about this product is it's 50% more powerful than the predecessor, the Alienware 17 that preceded this, but it's 32% smaller. Fantastic. It's just unbelievable the amount of performance that's in this thing. Core i9-9900K processors are available on here. That's the fastest processor you can get from Intel. Ninth generation, eight core, and you can overclock the hell out of that thing mm -hmm. using our Alienware command center software. I mean, not just customizable, not just more powerful, not just lighter, but the fact that it's upgradable means that this is an investment that's going to keep paying for you as you continue to adjust your system. Absolutely. As new, as new opportunities come out for you in terms of software. It's... Oh. <laughs> I'm going to try and take this one. Either. No, I mean, oh, I have We're so have many bolt feelings. These products down. <laughs> so I talked about Alienware Command Center. Um, last year I was on stage and I introduced Alienware Command Center to you, the new and improved. Since then, we've been getting a lot of feedback from customers around new features that they wanted, new graphic user interface improvements they wanted to see. We've made 30 improvements to Alienware Command Center in just a year's time. Okay. Some of the new improvements you're going to see that oh, will ship with um, the Area 51M. You will get GPU overclocking capability, of course, because you can overclock the RTX 2080 on this incredibly. You'll also get RAM overclocking capability. You'll get XMP profile, RAM performance monitoring. And like I said earlier, you will get the command center software, not just on all of our Alienware products, but also on the Dell Gaming G5 and G7 products as well. So you work with users to figure out what, how to improve this product on an ongoing basis, right? And you have a team of people that you work with all the time, huge You're team. a huge team. So tell us about that. Um, well, you know, it's a, it's a large team. They're very talented. They're pretty amazing. We've been really busy. Um, but what's gone into a product like this, um, I, I got to say, I couldn't be more proud mm -hmm. of the work that this team mm -hmm. has done. Because we gave them the submission, which was, hey, go build us the most amazing, badass notebook. And we started throwing all these things at them, everything in the kitchen sink, and saying, desktop processor, I want upgradable graphics, I want all this crazy memory, I want it to be easy for people to upgrade the system on their own. All these impossible dreams that we haven't seen in notebooks in 20 or so years. Everybody's going thin, 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 and they've kind of abandoned this category. Right. And the team came back and they said, here you go, we can do it. Right. And it's you, just amazing. And you partner with people that game all the time, this Team Liquid, these guys that are also giving you feedback from the field. So tell us about Team Liquid. Yeah, so all of our products, since we announced our Team Liquid partnership, um, have been uh, uh, consulted with by Team Liquid. Mm -hmm. um, so they've played a role in helping to design and define not just our notebooks, but our desktops, our keyboards, our mice. And we've got some pretty exciting announcements around Team Liquid as well. So last year, I was on stage. We talked about the partnership. We talked about them opening up the training facility in LA. Um, if you haven't seen the news footage of that or the pictures or everything, I highly recommend you go online and take a look at that. Since we've launched the training facility with them in LA, Team Liquid has been performing at their absolute best. 
The Counter-Strike team has appeared in 10 grand final stages around the world, and they're now one of the top three teams in the world. Nice. The League of Legends team went from being, play, being placed ninth to winning their first domestic LCS championship. So, I mean, this is just absolutely incredible. Yeah. And of course we credit all of that to the training facility yes. and our effort. <laughs> um, but they continue to be one of the top training, uh, one of the top uh, teams in the world, and they're gonna take it even now to the next level. We're gonna be opening up a second training facility in the Netherlands, 6,000 square foot facility in 2019. Nice. Yeah, similar setup to what we have in LA. That'll make Team Liquid not only the only team to have, um, not, the, not only the only organization to have not one, but two training facilities now on two continents around the world. So we're really excited about that partnership. But have you guys heard about League of Legends? Anybody heard of that game? Woo! Small game, a few, a few million Just people play yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, for those of you that didn't speak up and haven't heard about it, let me give you just a real quick video to introduce you to League of Legends, and then we have a special guest for you. <laughs> Please help me welcome Head of Esports Partnerships for Riot Games, Naz Alataha. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Hi you're welcome. Welcome. Thank you. So, over the years, kind of Alienware and Riot Games and League of Legends, we've kind of been leaders in the gaming space in almost two separate realms, it seems, almost you from an esports perspective and building one of the most successful games in the world, and us from a hardware perspective and building one of the most successful PC gaming hardware companies in the world. We've been huge admirers of your work. Um, it, it's been just amazing to sit back and watch the incredible success and what you've done for the sport. Can you share with the audience a little bit about what we've been doing together since we met? Yes, absolutely. Well, first of all, thank you for having us. And uh, the admiration is very mutual. We're huge fans of Dell and Alienware products. Um, this partnership has actually been a year in the making. Uh, I actually first met with Alienware a year ago, pretty much to the day, right here at CES. And right off the bat, we realized that we're both relentlessly committed to elevating the overall gaming experience for our audiences and to the continued technological innovation of esports. The PCs and displays that our pro players compete on are the equivalent to the official sporting equipment that you see in other major sports. These are our bats, our official game balls, our rackets. Our sport is quite literally powered by technology. Technology that actually, since launching League of Legends Esports in 2011, we at Riot have managed in-house. But, as you saw from that video, the world of 2019 looks vastly different from 2011. And with that, we're seeing the beginnings of what I would call League of Legends 2.0, League of Legends Esports 2.0. Our sport has grown exponentially. We now operate 13 leagues across the globe, and we throw some of the biggest sporting events in the world. Our world championship just this past year in 2018 had 99.6 million viewers tune into the world final wow. alone. So setting the gold standard for our sporting equipment is critical, and we had to look no further than Dell Alienware to do just that. Through this multi-year partnership, Dell and Alienware, with your unmatched expertise in hardware and technology services, will help us to continue to level up our sport, setting a global performance standard for the hardware that powers it, and unlocking efficiencies in the rigorous operational logistics that it takes to manage a fleet of hundreds of PCs across multiple companies. So where will folks be able to see like, our systems integrated into League of Legends eSports? Sure, so Alienware will be the first fully standardized competition PC and display partner of our highly anticipated global competitions. That's our mid-season invitational, our world championship, and our year-end all-star event, as well as two of our premier leagues, the North American LCS and the European LEC. 
So this means that a fleet of hundreds of Alienware Auroras and 240 Hertz gaming monitors will be deployed across the globe to power these competitions and our year-long season, and they'll be seen on the League of Legends stage by tens of millions of fans worldwide. So you were talking about the fact that you guys, you know, you're using this, uh, this product across your league. What made you choose Alienware? Well, the best league athletes need the best equipment to compete on. And Alienware... <laughs> well, Alienware gives us exactly that. Um, you know, the hardware was built with gamers in mind, engineered with really unmatched performance and awesome, bold designs. Um, you know, for the last few years, we've actually custom built our PCs in-house wow. in order to achieve our desired spec and to be able to really quickly adapt and upgrade the various PC components to meet our sports standards. Um, but with the Alienware Auroras, we've found an impeccably high standard of quality in one cohesive unit. And features like the toolless accessibility will unlock really meaningful efficiencies for our sports operations by enabling us to future-proof our fleet and allowing you for really easy component upgrades. And the gaming monitor will introduce a new caliber of visual performance and feedback for our pro players, taking the refresh rates to some of the highest levels we've ever seen in competitive league play. Now, is this, uh, is this these products are they exclusive to athletes? No, that's actually part of the really exciting part. Fans are gonna be able to, for the first time, purchase the same exact rig that the best of the best pro League of Legends players compete on, and they'll be able to essentially take to Summoner's Rift and test their skills on the official equipment used at the highest levels of our sport. Um, and I'm really excited to see Alienware at our, uh, our, our big events and our competitions because fans are also going to have the chance to check out Alienware's on-site activations, VIP seating, and other really exciting surprises that are really geared towards celebrating these elite competitions and the dedicated, passionate community that follows them. There'll be more on that coming in the next few months. I think that's really exciting because people are going to be watching you guys play and then knowing that they can take that rig home is going to be super exciting for the fans. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So you talked about how you know, Riot was doing all the maintenance and troubleshooting of your computers, your competition PCs before. How, how are we helping you do that? Yeah, so in addition to the hardware, this partnership is going to provide us with really incredible gains on the operational front because we'll be able to tap into Dell's technology service expertise. Each Alienware PC setup within our fleet will leverage Dell's support assist diagnostic features. And that will essentially enable proactive tools that are designed to detect and prevent technical issues before they happen from critically impacting a match. And you can imagine how much of a game changer that can be when you're running a digital sport. These new diagnostic features are gonna help us improve the overall performance and responsiveness of our fleet and elevate the competitive experience. So, needless to say, we are so excited to be here to announce this partnership today alongside such a best-in-class partner. We're so happy to have you guys alongside us for the next As few years to come. And uh, tune in, the season kicks off, the 2019 season kicks off at the end of this month, and we're really excited to start showcasing those auroras on stage. Awesome. Thank you so much, Naz. Yeah, Looking so forward much. to the rest Thank of our announcements. That's so awesome. Thank you. So cool. All right. Who wants to see some surprises? Yeah. There are so, more surprises. So before we get to that, um, make sure to stay tuned throughout 2019. As you saw with the, the Team Liquid partnership, that's been a long partnership that we've had over eight years now. We've continuously made improvements on it and added more and more value to the team, to the athletes, to the fans. Same exact recipe will follow with the Riot Games partnership. So throughout 2019, we're working on a bunch of cool stuff that you're gonna see, so make sure to stay tuned um, for that news. So you saw some pretty kick-ass design, um, mm -hmm. some leading innovation. We talked about some killer partnerships. This is what the Dell Gaming Experience is all about. For those of you that are, are lucky enough to be here with us today, make sure to go to the Dell Experience Center at the Sugarcane and check out the products firsthand. Everything's there, everything's working, everything's playable, usable, and it works. So um, who wants to see some surprises? Yeah, yeah. come on. Right. I, I, 
I, I, I, how can there be more stuff? <laughs> I'm super excited. So last but not least, we have some display announcements. So those of you that don't know, Dell is the leader in displays around the world. We ship more displays than anybody else. Um, and we have some really cool displays that we have at the Dell Experience Center, including this amazing 49 inch uh, ultra, ultra wide display that when you see it, it just blows your mind. Um, but we've got some other things that we haven't announced just yet. And you're gonna be the first ones to hear about them. First thing is we are going to be introducing 244, oh, sorry, 240 hertz um, LCDs on our notebooks. You can expect those to come a little, a little bit later on in the year, around April. So our gaming notebooks will feature the fastest gaming display you can get out there at the time. Um, those of you that were here a few years ago, you may recall that we launched a 13-inch gaming OLED notebook. It's been a really popular notebook. People absolutely love it. Um, and we were the first and only ones offering a 13 or an OLED gaming notebook uh, in general. Well, we're really happy to announce that we will be expanding that offering to include our 15-inch gaming notebooks as well. So you'll soon be able to see our gaming 15-inch products feature um, a 15-inch OLED display. The incredible contrast ratio, incredible color gamut, and the response time on OLED is, is, is unmatched from LCD. So expect to see those on our gaming products soon. And last but not least, on the topic of OLED, we are gonna be introducing, and you'll be able to see it at the Dell Experience Center, a 55 inch, 120 hertz, 4K OLED display featuring the brand new Alienware Legend design. Oh my God. So. That is gonna make all of your friends insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely yeah. the product of oh envy. Oh my for God, wow. Um, so it's not just OLED, but it's 120 hertz OLED. So we've taken OLED to the next level. Um, you have multiple inputs on this thing, so you can connect your console and your PC on it and just switch the inputs to be able to use the two of them. When you see it, the design, I mean, these pictures don't do it justice. Make sure to go check out the Dell Experience Zone. I promise you will not be disappointed. This thing is absolutely amazing. So that's, that's it for me. Bananas. I'm that out. Gaming so show's awesome. over. That, oh, that was so great. Thank, Thank you so you much. So, much. <laughs> so cool. Really, really fun. Everybody get up a prank. So wow. I really need that monitor. Um, all right, look, we're nearing the end of what has been an extraordinary morning here with Dell, and I just want to have Sam join us back on stage and uh, just run down uh, a little recap of everything we've seen today. So Sam, uh, come on out here and uh, show us what you got. Yes. Hey, Aisha. Hey, it's been crazy. So fun. Um, we appreciate spending this morning with you and really jamming through a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Been, I'd say, most exciting CES that we've ever had. Looking forward to the rest of the week. If you look and just, if I do a quick recap of yes, what we Yes, I would through, love a recap. It's been action packed. I think you remember everything. I do, but I want to hear it again. You got your big wheelbarrow yeah. full of everything. <laughs> so we couldn't excited. find the stuff. Hey, we started off XPS 13 perfected. I will say, Jay, I know you're watching. I am gonna get you back for that picture, so you better watch <laughs> out. Um, we talked about great experiences and leadership experiences for the way people really wanna use their systems. So Dell Cinema, Dell Mobile Connect, pretty awesome. Latitude 7400, finally, a business system that users are gonna covet, so it's pretty awesome. World-class gaming partnerships, Team Liquid, we had Naz here with Riot Games. Full range of gaming notebooks from the most affordable to the most extreme. The Area 51M was awesome. New legend identity for Alienware. And then Frank just showed you we're going to be first with 240 hertz screens on our gaming systems first. Uh, we got some great OLED screens coming on notebooks to expand our offering there. And that 55 inch display, 55. I love that. I, think I, I, I see one of those sitting uh, in a nice place. So yes. it's been a whole bunch. Yeah, Aisha. it's been incredible. So much in an hour. And if you guys don't know it already, you guys have already won lots of awards at the CES. Nine official awards just this year with Woo. more to come, I'm sure. I know you had a record last year. Yeah. You're gonna have a record this year. It's been a great day so far. You can check out all of this and so much more at the Dell Experience at Sugar Cane all this week. We reserved from, for press and analysts today only from 11.30 to 2 p.m. After that, it is fair game for anyone with a CES badge. You can check out all the new products and experiences we announced today and lots more when you get over there. And as exciting as this stuff seemed up here on the stage, you've gotta to touch it and experience it yep. to believe it. So get down to Sugar Cane and check it all out. I was really, really excited to be a part of this. 
I had so much fun. I mean, this is my jam, and I, I really am about to, I'm about to load up my apartment. It's just gonna be, it's gonna look like the Matrix, just all screens in my place. Uh, I'm just gonna have like a laptop on the toilet. It's gonna be amazing. Thank you so much for having Thank me you. here today. It's Thanks, been so Aisha. fun. Delta Team, that's a wrap. Thanks everybody. Please continue Woo. the conversation on Twitter. The hashtag is Dell Experience and CS 2019. Have a fantastic CS, everybody. Have fun. Bye. Thanks.